while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Land of milk and honey. God says flee from the lands of the north. Meaning come out of the ways of America. Stop celebrating the holidays that they gave your ancestors in slavery. Right. Where they forced us and beat us to celebrate these holidays. Right. These holidays are not in the Bible. All that, I don't want to get married. All our women that want to be promiscuous. Our men that want to sleep with different women. That's the ways of America. That's not the ways of God. to Islam. You went from Christianity, now you in politics. You went, you, you try everything on the earth to bring solutions to yourself and to your people, but none of them has worked because you have not tried God's commandments. Right. Because you have not came back to this Bible as Israelites. Right. Read. They have forgotten their resting place. Where's your resting place? This Bible. Right. Right. This Bible is your resting place and you have forgotten that because the leaders that you follow have not taught you the truth. That's right. You have not asked some questions according to this Bible and get answers according to the Bible. Right. You have forgotten your resting place. You have learned all the lies of America and you adopted those lies into your life. Like Christmas, like Easter, Valentine's Day. A lot of you are going to celebrate Thanksgiving. The slaughter of the so-called Native American Indians. Your brothers. You're going to celebrate that holiday. You celebrate Christmas thinking that Jesus Christ was born December 25th. When the Bible says he was born in the springtime around Passover. The lies that you have been taught. You have not searched out the scriptures. You have not asked the leaders, your leaders, questions on why you're in the conditions you're in and how you can get out of them. Because you go to the white man for all your answers. Read that part again. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them. Oh, everybody that found us, all the other nations that found us, have devoured them. They devoured us. They took away our nationality. They took away our land. We don't know who we are. They took away our, our holidays that we both to celebrate that's in the Bible. Right. Not the holidays that you celebrate today. They devoured us as a people. They put us in the slums and in the ghettos. They didn't give us resources so we can help one another get out of the conditions that we are in. They devoured us as a people. And y'all don't want to come up here and ask questions and we're reading the Bible? You don't want to come out here and learn why you're in the conditions that you're in? You'll never learn this in your Christian church. Your pastor will never read this to you. You ain't going to get the answers unless you're getting the answers from God. Unless you're getting the answers from the prophets. Right. You'll never learn the truth. Give me, uh, uh, give me, uh, Revelations. Matter of fact, before you give me Zechariah, chapter 2. It's time to repent and keep God's commandments. You must repent and come back to this Bible. Destruction is coming to America. You have not learned that in your church, and we're going to read that out of the Bible. Destruction is coming to America. World War III is coming to America. The wars that you see taking place over across on the other lands, over there in Israel and Gaza, is coming to America. You think you safe. Bring it up. But you're not. Only way you're going to be safe if you come back to this Bible and keep God's commandments. That's the only way you're going to get protection. Read that. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 6. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. God says flee from the land of the north. What is he talking about? North America. A lot of our people is coming to this land thinking that they're going to be safe. Thinking it's the land of milk and honey. God says flee from the land of the north. Meaning come out of the ways of America. Stop celebrating the holidays that they gave your ancestors in slavery. Right. Where they forced us and beat us to celebrate these holidays. Right. These holidays are not in the Bible. All that, I don't want to get married. All our women that want to be promiscuous. Our men that want to sleep with different women. That's the ways of America. That's not the ways of God. Brother, you understand what we're teaching? The, what, what you're doing right now is the way of America. 
God is going to destroy you for smoking. Give me that scripture again, and we're going to go right back to that. It's time for our people to wake up. We are not out here to play games with nobody. That's right. Death is coming. Right. Death is coming to America. Right. That's written in the Bible. Right. You're not safe unless you keep a God's commandments. Read. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. I want you to listen to this, brother. You got to put them cigarettes down, or this is what's going to happen to you. Read. No, ye not. Now you are the temple of God. So who is the temple of God? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the temple of God. You are God's chosen people. Right. Read. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So God's spirit wants to dwell in his people. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. But God can't dwell in you if you're smoking cigarettes. You're defiling your temple. Right. You're smoking crack. Right. you too tooting blow. Right. You're popping pills. You're smoking weed. Having sex outside of marriage. Eating unclean food. God cannot dwell in you because you're defiling your temple. God says if any man defile his temple, him shall God destroy. Judgment is coming, brother. It's sooner or later. God says he's going to destroy you, brother, for smoking cigarettes. Right. We are out here as your brothers to teach you repentance right. before that destruction comes. Read that part again. Him shall God destroy. You want to get destroyed, brother, with an everlasting destruction? You got to repent. You got to come out of the ways of America. Smoking cigarettes is not our custom. Right. That's the white man custom. Let him smoke cigarettes. Bring it up. And he need to repent. Right. Go back to where we was at. So you got to repent, bro. We got our number and our uh, address on the back of that flyer. Come and learn with your brothers that used to smoke cigarettes, but repented according to the Bible. Right. That, that heard the same thing you heard and say, you know what? I love God. Give me that scripture. You know what? I do love God. And I didn't know that was in the Bible. But brother, I appreciate you reading that to me. Now let me apply what I've been learning. It's time for us to apply the things that we learned out of this Bible. And stop playing games with God. You love God, brother? Read that. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Hey, so, what's your name? Lorraine, you speak English, little English? Okay, okay, read. For this is the love of God. I want uh, John 14, 15. So let's see if our people really love God. Because the Bible tells you how to love God. It's not hard. It's not complicated. You make it complicated because of your lying pastors that taught you lies in these churches. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me. You love God? He said, if you love me. Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. So one of the commandments, brother, is not smoking cigarettes. Right. right. You got to put the cigarettes down if you love God. God says no man of the Israelites should defile their temple. You're the greatest people that God created. Did you know that? That's right. Give me that real quick. I'm going to hold that, Zachariah. I'm going back. Give me do it around the 7 and 6. I'm going to show you, bro. You're the greatest thing smoking. You don't even know it. Our people don't know that we're the greatest people on the earth. That's right. But we've been brought into slavery. We've been brought to a lower state because we broke our commandments. Now that we're in the conditions that we're in, we think that we ain't nothing. Because, we, because God got us like this. Because smoking cigarettes. Don't want to marry our women. Just have sex with them, get them pregnant, and keep it moving. Right. God is angry with our people. Right. But God still feel like this about you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God said that you are holy, meaning you're not like the other nations. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are a holy people. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God chose you, brother. God chose you. You just don't know it yet. You are a chosen people. You are a chose, chosen generation. Read it again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. To be a what? Special people. You are special, brother. If, if nobody else tell you you're special, God is telling you that you are special people. Right. That you are special. You don't need a cigarette, brother. Right. You don't need weed, whatever else, whatever else drugs our people use, you don't need it. Right. All we need is God's word. This is what's going to bring us joy. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 